Technical Sergeant Joel Crowley, and I operate as a 265th Combat Communications Cyber Transport Technician. The mission of the 265th Combat Communications Squadron is actually twofold. We have a stateside mission where we provide domestic communication abilities to help with hurricane relief, any natural disasters, or anything where the state of Maine might need our help with communications. Additionally, we also have a federal mission. On the federal side, we can rapidly deploy tactical and mobile communication suites for up to thousands of customers anywhere in the world. So if you want to set up a brand new base, we are going to be there for the bare bones and set up that communication system to provide a wide array of communication systems for our customers. We also configure and manage phone systems, whether that be a handheld phone that sits on your desk and you call anyone in the world. We also manage soft IP phones using the internet and our network to call people as well. Great technology. Uh, we also configure um, Cat5 cables, fiber optics, and making sure that everyone can connect to each other physically. And we also do encryption. In this day and age, encryption and anti-hacking techniques are very, very important to our world, especially on the network and especially within the Department of Defense and the Air Force. What we do is we make sure that all of our network technology and systems are encrypted from end to end to make sure that anyone who might want to get into our systems, listen to what we're talking about, doesn't have an opportunity to. On the domestic side, we have communication systems that are able to provide relief for anyone who needs communication abilities to set up operation centers and provide relief for Mainers and other New Englanders as well um, in a moment's notice. My role of the 265th Combat Communications Squadron is that of a cyber transport technician. So I take the signal that's been handed over by our RF technicians, the signal that's coming from the antenna, they hand it over to us and we provide pathways to our customers. We allow um, Cat5, fiber optic cables, and we provide that to our customers and other work centers as well, such as the network control center and client systems, so that they can hand off services to our customers. The thing I like most about being in the 265th Combat Communications Squadron it's coming here, being a part of a family on the weekend, training and building up my IT skills every single weekend while also being able to support the country and give back to the local community as well. Without a doubt, the best experience I've ever had as a 265th Combat Communications Squadron member was being deployed to Iraq. I was able to not only provide services for our men and women in arms while we were in Baghdad, but I also got to help out the local Iraqis and the Ministry of Transportation members as well, helping them build their own IT skills and, and getting some esprit de corps and their own service to the Iraqi Air Force. My membership in the Maine National Guard as, as a young member, particularly when I was fresh out of high school, allowed me to get these brand new, fresh IT skills that were very relevant quick, fast-paced, and, and highly usable towards any civilian career field within IT. I was able to book a, a local job in a telephone company right here in Portland almost immediately after technical training, and it really helped me bolster my career both in the military and the civilian world. If you're interested in joining the Maine National Guard, take this into consideration. Are you looking for training? Do you want to pay for college, or would you rather have that taken care of? Would you like to build a family of your own that will take care of you no matter where you are? Are you looking to build new skills? This is the option for you. You should check it out.